How to groom a Pomeranian. This is Foxy, and today we are going to be grooming a Pomeranian. Now, Foxy is an older Pomeranian. She doesn't have the coat that a lot of you are used to seeing, but I've been getting all these requests to work on a Pomeranian and share that with you all. So, Foxy was on the schedule, and I thought, let's do it. So I am going to go through the exact procedure and steps that I do on a Pomeranian. And I'm going to show you how I remove the coat, how I trim the coat, how I bathe, brush and dry Foxy to prepare her coat properly. Because coat prep is so important. We've been talking a lot about that on this channel, guys. And I can't say it enough. Now she has a little bit of dry skin. I can see that, and that's typical of a double-coated dog. I'm going to show you the magic that we can work with her skin and coat in the tub. And by properly bathing, brushing, and drying Foxy. So some awesome bathing tips coming right up for you guys. But the first thing that we need to do when prepping any dog for a bath is thoroughly brush them out before the bath. And I'm trying to stimulate her skin and coat, as well as remove any dead shedding hair that would like to come out with the brush because the brush is gonna gently pull that out for her. She is very touchy because she is an older girl um, and she certainly is shedding a lot today. So we should be able to give you all a great idea of how to properly prep your Pomeranian in the tub. So after I thoroughly brush her everywhere, we're gonna head to the tub. I'll see you guys there. And that is the hair that we've removed from Foxy before the bath. Now let's head to the tub. But stay tuned because we're gonna trim up them feet really good. I'm gonna show you how to do that, it's simple. Now I have washed Foxy one time with my regular Trapaclean hypoallergenic shampoo. I'm gonna go in for a second wash with this product, which is the Davis D Grease. And it's, to me, it's much like a clarifying shampoo as you can clearly see it is just like scrubbing bubbles for your dog but safe you do not want to get this product in their eyes however there are not many shampoos or cleansing products that are safe to get in your dog's eyes so always want to read your labels this is just going to kind of rejuvenate foxy's coat okay we're gonna get this coat perfect before we attempt to scissor trim this little girl. And I use a loofah to disperse the product because it adds so much lather and just takes your shampoo to a whole new level. I have other videos on my channel demonstrating how I use a loofah. And I think that you should all be utilizing this technique at home. Now I thoroughly rinsed Foxy of both products, which was the Tropiclean hypoallergenic shampoo and then I washed her with the Davis D grease. Now it's time to condition her and I'm gonna show you how to use this comb to properly de-shed this dog in the tub with conditioner when she's wet. No other tools are needed on this coat of a Pomeranian, guys. I really, really wanna stress that. So I'm so glad to be doing this demo for you guys and show you exactly how to properly prep the coat on a Pomeranian dog. We'll get this conditioner distributed properly through Foxy's coat. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, but while I'm letting it sit, because I want that conditioner to do its job for her skin and coat, that's when I'm going to comb it through her coat. So I'm gonna take her off of her tub leash. Put your little foot out, honey. Good job. Yay. Okay. So now I have Foxy. I'm gonna use the larger side of the comb, which is the coarse side to start. And we're just gonna begin combing gently in the lay of the coat, the way the coat grows. Just loosening up. You can feel I'm snagging on a little bit of undercoat here. Now, a great product to use in the tub is the Nature Specialty Sun Guard Conditioner, especially for de-shedding. I didn't use that on her today. Today I am simply using a Davis conditioner, but that's because she really didn't have an abundance of undercoat that was, 
She had undercoat, obviously you can see that, but it was sparse. It was here and here and that was about it. So I didn't need to go for that magic product that I love so much. If I had a thick coat like a Golden Retriever, Bernice Mountain Dog, Sheltie Kali, Chow Chow, I would have used the Nature Specialty Sun Guard. And I use a comb to gently remove the undercoat. Can you see how easy this is, guys? This is what I wanted to show you, is how to gently, safely, easily, and effectively remove undercoat from a Pomeranian. Now, you wouldn't be doing this if we hadn't brushed her out thoroughly before we bathed her. And that goes for any dog that we groom. You brush them thoroughly before the bath every time and you can have results just like this for your Pomeranian or many other breeds that have a similar coat type it's wonderful I'm still using the larger side of the comb I may not have to at all switch to the smaller side but if I felt I needed I still had coat that I couldn't remove I would switch over to that smaller side of my comb. I can get through it with the smaller side, but the, the larger coarse side is doing just wonderfully. This is how easy it is. And she is completely combed out with the conditioner. Now the last thing that I'm going to do here in the tub is thoroughly rinse Foxy of all the product. But what I did here by also using this comb to de-shed Foxy in the tub, as I am evenly dispersing the conditioner throughout her skin and coat, which is gonna help balance out her skin for this groom. And the groom will prove to be much more effective for her. And she will stay beautiful a lot longer than she would if I didn't take the time to properly prep this skin and coat in the tub. Foxy and I will see you guys on the table where we're gonna dry her. And I have another trick for you that I'm gonna share on the grooming table while we're drying. Using an absorber towel to dry Foxy and pull off as much of this water from her coat and her skin before I dry her, which I'm gonna be using a stand dryer to dry Foxy. But these absorber towels are so, so amazing for pulling all the water out of the skin and coat prior to the, dr the drying process that it saves you a lot of time when we are drying our pets. I mean, this is, this is, this is how much water we got out of her. Just in that quick little towel off. I'm not even done toweling her off. What you do with these towels is you just wring, wring it out like this, continue to towel her off and it just continues to pull water out of the coat. If you're interested in picking up one for yourself or two or three or four, they also make great gifts. There's a link in the description below as well as a discount code that you can use if you're a first time purchase, 10% off. It's the go-to groomer, I believe is the discount code. However, it's down there. Make sure you take advantage of that. Get 10% off your first order. So if you order three or four, you get 10% off three or four towels. I love them. I use them every day in my grooming shop. Now we're ready to get her up on the table and start working that coat. We have our stand dryer on Foxy. And our next step is to gently brush her entire coat while it's damp, I have toweled her off with that absorber towel, so her coat is just simply damp right now. We are going to brush all the way through this coat with the lay of the coat. And then we're gonna take that tub comb through it one more time. As you can see, we're still getting hair. This is all part of the process. It's a process, and this is how you get the best prepped coat on a Pomeranian. Good job, honey. Then we're gonna take that tub comb. I'm gonna use the finer side. I'm gonna go through that with the lay of her coat. And this is how you prep a Pomeranian's coat 
for trimming. Now we're gonna trim Foxy's little nails. But she's a very good girl. She is an older girl. She's doing the best she can. I like to trim the pads of her feet with a 30 blade. We do that in a V shape, just like this. Nice and easy. Let's take a look at this skin. Nice and clean, no more flaky. This coat is just about ready to scissor. For Foxy, I just want to shape in her silhouette. It should look nice and rounded. Now, she, her coat leaves a little bit to be desired, so I'm going to tidy up this, her underline. It's a little sparse. We're going to tidy up this little booty. Changing the shape a little bit. That's all. I'm going to hold up her little leg. I'm just going to use the thinning shear and tidy up these little furnishings. She doesn't have much furnishings here on her legs, so we don't have a whole lot to do there. I'm just going to scissor around the pad, all the way around. Never like this, always around so you don't nick a pad. Very important. For the top of her foot, I'm just gonna gently brush it up. I'm gonna use my thinning shear and I'm gonna take off everything that is sticking out over the shape of her foot, over the top of it, all this. And that's it. To tighten up her behind area, carefully just scissor away from the anus, or you could use a 10 blade here, whichever you're more comfortable with. Comb up and scissor down in the shape that we're trying to create. Comb up and scissor down. I'm going to show you what I do with the thinning shear just to make all that look like it just naturally grew this way. I'm holding her tail out of the way, I'm just using my thinning shear almost as if, as if it were a scissor. That makes sense? I'm scissoring with my thinning shear. Be very careful around this area, it's, you know, it's her private parts. You could clean that out with a 10 blade if you wanted to. What I like to do is tip this leg up a little and see what wants to hang out over. Do the same thing over here. And it's nice and even, nice and tidy. Right here in front of her ears, I just pinch the ear together and I'm just gonna take off any of the fringes that are blending into the point of that ear. Same thing here. Just want to create a nice shape there. Look here, Fox. If this video has helped you, please like it and share it and subscribe to my channel because I don't want you to miss anything, my friend. I share my secrets of the grooming industry with you so you can provide quality care for your beloved pets at home. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this video. So just click on it and I'll see you there.